So let's talk a little Fender Tone Master Pro. So when I first heard that the Tone Master Pro was being launched, um, that whole leak that happened, I was super skeptical. I was kind of like, well, if it's going to come out, it's got to be able to do things bigger and better than the existing players in the market. For those that don't know, I do all sorts of modeler content on this channel. I'm a little bit of a modeling junkie. So I've got pretty high expectations and I also have a good understanding of how they all work and what they're capable of, what they're good at and what they're bad at. So any criticisms that I have of the Tone Master Pro or of any of the units is only for the unit hopefully to improve so that maybe if a rep or somebody or just you in general trying to make your decision um, on which one to buy. So when I first got my hands on the Tone Master Pro, messing around with it, I was <laughs> quite uh, heavily accused of trying to sabotage it just because I was expecting certain things that weren't happening. Um, that's never been my intent, and it's not my intent to uh, to be a downer about a unit. But my expectation was through the roof, being that I'm comfortable and fluent on all the other major players. And a lot of those criticisms are still active with this, but that's not a bad thing. And um, we can talk a little bit about the criticisms because I think that that's healthy dialogue and healthy discussion. And I think something that the community is a little bit, <sighs> needs to pump the brakes on, or at least a, a loud, small majority, whatever I'm going for there, um, very vocal and very defensive over this unit in the Facebook groups and on the gear pages. And I mean, look, you could be defensive of your purchase, that's okay, but to the level and extent that this thing is defended is a little insane, in my opinion. Um, and it's not bad criticism. I'm not saying that it's a bad unit. I'm not saying that it sucks. I'm just saying that these areas need to improve. I've done this with every unit, and I've done it with Quad Cortex heavily. I've done it with Fractal. I've done it with Helix. I've done it with all of the units where I want to point out things where it needs to grow so that hopefully we can get to a point where we find the perfect modeler, whomever decides to put those into practice and wind up making the ultimate floorboard. There is no one floorboard for everybody, but there are a multitude of options and there's definitely a right one for you personally. And that is kind of where I think the Tone Master Pro is going to shine. And this is where um, I'm very positive about it because I do think that this has a very good place in the market. And that market is for people who are newly jumping into modeling, people who aren't interested in the huge learning curves that come with the other units. Um, even though for somebody like me, I can fly through all the units pretty quick, but putting my brain, putting my thought process into somebody that has never used a, an amp modeler or has maybe been hesitant to because they see a video that it, you see all the work that goes into learning the unit and maybe it's not for them. And for those people, this is going to absolutely kill it for you because it's so 
easy to use for a guitar player. You could be um, an older player that's not so tech savvy and get yourself up and running with this thing relatively quickly. All the knobs are one-to-one, -one, just like a real amp would be. As long as you have an understanding of how to mic an amp or mic a speaker and how to use the parameters that you're given, you can get really great and be you can get really great sounds and be successful using the Tone Master Pro. And that is awesome. And I'm all for that, especially because I think the older generation, no offense to anybody, but I think the older generation's a little bit more hesitant to jump into the modeling world. As I'm wearing my Uncle Larry homeschooling shirt, he would probably think this video is blasphemy from the beginning. But I think that that generation who struggles with tech or is just not interested in putting in the time and effort into learning these units have a home with Tone Master Pro. And I think that that's kind of become evident in the famous players that are using it. Like you're seeing more and more, I mean, it's obvious Fender probably sent these out to these famous people. You see Joe Bonamassa put up a Facebook post. I don't think I've seen one of him using it yet, but he definitely, they were like, hey, take this and put up a post about it. Um, but I could see somebody like Joe Bonamassa, if he was ever going to be into modeling, to be like, oh, well, this is Fender and I know how to work all the knobs already. So I'll stick with this one instead of putting in the learning curve. Then you have like Satch used one live. And I think that for those diehard tube fans that have always been hesitant and uh, leery about going into the modeling world, the Tone Master Pro definitely has that on lock because anybody could sit in front of this and get some decent sounds if you have an idea about basic gear. And I also think that there is a second group of people that the Tone Master Pro is totally for. And again, this is not meant to be a bad thing for that person, for those people, because there are people who have tried all of the other modelers. They've tried Helix, they've tried Kemper, they've tried Quad Cortex, they've tried Fractal, and they can't get their sound. They can't find their sound. And this is just observation from being in all the Facebook groups. I'm very active on social media. So if you want to follow me on, I have a, a group of all dedicated guitar nerds called the Steve Starlacci's Guitar Me. I'll link it down below. You can follow me on all social media and I'm always down to talk gear. So I follow these forums and I see what people are saying. And it's interesting with the Tone Master Pro because you'll see some people say, I tried it, it's below my expectation, so I returned it. But then there's also a ton of people that say, I've tried all the others and this is by far the best for me. Well, they don't always say for me, and that's something key here too, is that people need to understand that the gear, there's best gear for you and there's best gear in general. So nobody, in my opinion, should be saying that X piece of gear sucks or S X piece of gear is way better than this one or this one sounds way better. All these can sound as good as you can make them sound or as bad. And um, I think it's important to not be super negative to other people's opinions and other people's choices. If they want to use that and that's right for them, just let them be happy and move on with your life. That'd be awesome. So yeah, the people that are struggling with all the other modelers, and this is a real thing because a lot of people buy these with intention with the intention of learning and figuring out how to use them and they just get overwhelmed or they just can't find a good sound. And that is a real thing. People can't find their sound using a certain piece of gear, so they move on to something else. And I'm seeing a lot of players in the forums find a home in Tone Master Pro because they've tried all the others and they just can't get their head around digital sound. They think all of them don't work for them. And that's very valid. There are definitely people that do that. I try other units and I try things and if I don't like it, I don't wanna use it. 
So you have every right to move around and float around. And it seems like those people that have struggled with modelers and can't get them to sound the way that they want or the way that they need, they're finding a home in Towmaster Pro. So I do think that there is a solid fan base and a solid community for the Tomaster Pro. Um, I do see Fender's already put one update in where they improved the touchscreen and fixed a bunch of bugs. I am very curious to see where this goes. There's this whole drama thing that went on with, um, I guess it was the fractal guy that uh, was talking about impedance curves and all that stuff. So apparently Fender is addressing that. And there's a bunch of, I don't even know, I read a little bit of it and I just, I couldn't even stay in the forum on it. But um, from my understanding, Fender's going to be working on all this stuff. And I'm really curious to see where it's going to wind up after a few updates. And all the criticism that you see about the Tomaster Pro, the lack of amps, the, um, the general sound, I think, could also be improved. But... It's also version one of the firmware. So having criticism at version one doesn't mean that I hate it. It doesn't mean that I dislike it. It doesn't mean that I want the worst for it. There are people that still, after eight years of Helix being around, there are people that still say the Helix, amps, the Helix amp models suck because they tried it back in 2015 and couldn't get a good sound. And that's still stuck. Line 6 has an awful reputation sometimes when people are thinking about stuff. they You see all the memes and stuff. It's always Line 6 is at the bottom of the barrel. But realistically, the Helix hangs in with all of the other professional modeling units. So the Tone Master Pro is not alone in being criticized. The Quad Cortex, all of the stuff they promised at launch, and that's one thing where Fender has been a little bit better about keeping things under wraps. Quad Cortex promised the world and delivered... 30% of what they promised. And I mean, I don't know if I'm exaggerating or not, but um, the quad cortex was so heavily criticized by myself. No desktop editor was a huge one for me. There's still even a couple things that, that bother me heavily about the quad cortex. And um, it's just normal for you to be critical of the units. I think fractal is so hard to use. And I hate that there's things that you need to be tied to the desktop for. And then you can get option paralysis, option paralysis by being overwhelmed with the pages and pages of parameters. For somebody like me, it's too much. For somebody that loves that stuff, then that's great for them. But all of the units have areas where they can improve. And I can only offer my opinion on the channel. That's all I want to do is offer my opinion and in my experience, I think that X, Y, and Z would be important things to fix on. That's it. There's no malintent and there's no, uh, there's no hit piece being put on the Tone Master Pro on this channel. I just want the best floor modeler ever. And um, I'm going to keep criticizing all of them until we get it.